I'm Jason Residlo here with the 2017 North American International Auto Show, here to find out which cars and trucks are drawing the biggest crowds. Come with me and let's find out. Let's start with the Lexus UX concept. It drew lots of eyeballs. The UX features kinetic seats with backrest and seat cushions that move to make the driver and passenger more comfortable. Everyone loves getting their photo taken with the Michelin Man. One of the most popular vehicles at the show this year is this Batmobile made out of Legos and it's in the Chevrolet display. It's completely amazing because it took them a really long time to do it and look how huge it is. It's like actual size probably to it in real life maybe. And I'm just wondering, how did they get all the Lego pieces? Because that's over like, I don't know, a thousand Lego pieces or something. It's just so confusing. Now are you excited for the new movie coming out next month? Yeah, I like Batman and I like Legos. It's like a mixture of those, so that means I super like it. Virtual reality was alive and well at the auto show. Denzo offered attendees the chance to experience how futuristic vehicles can communicate with one another in three scenarios, including the city, the country, and off-road. Over at Ford, the automaker showed off its own virtual reality experience. Theirs lets visitors watch the Ford GT race through a wind tunnel, view the new transmission for the Ford F-150, and see the all-new EcoSport compact SUV. It's really cool. I mean, we've only seen like the first half of it so far. We haven't been here that long. But I mean, the displays are amazing that they always put out. And there's a lot more interactive things this year. There's a lot more um, like digital media stuff and like the, what do they call it? The, visual, the virtual reality yeah, virtual and everything reality. and like the games here. It's, it's really cool yes. so far. We've only made, really made it to the front half, so. Yeah. Yeah. What's been your favorite car so far? Um, I don't know. I did like that Mustang I saw up there, so. Yeah. That's really cool. I do like the Mustangs. And the F-150 yeah. was nice too. So yeah, I, can, always, I can dream. You always like the American cars. <laughs> yes. You always go for the American cars. And I like to see all the SUVs. So. Ford also introduced its all-new 2018 Mustang, not during press days, but during the public show. It comes with a 10-speed transmission with more power from its V8 engine and all-new digital dashboard. Chinese automaker GAC Motors showed off three new vehicles at the auto show. One of them is a concept car called the Inspirit. They are looking to begin selling cars on U.S. shores beginning in 2019. I, uh, I'm very excited about it. I like that a lot of the manufacturers have changed their displays. As usual, there's a lot of concept cars and the salespeople are very professional. When you ask them, they're intelligent, they know what you want, and you can find out anything about any model car you're interested in buying. Now, what has been your favorite car since you've been here? Well, there's a few we haven't been to yet, but I would say so far it would be the, uh, I like the Alfa Romero and I like the new uh, 650 BMW. Gee, right. I actually love that um, new, um, the minibus, the Volkswagen. Yes, I thought that was cool. Brings back a lot of memories. Hyundai allows attendees to get behind the wheel of the N2025 concept car in the video game Gran Turismo 6. Visitors can also race a Dodge Challenger within the Fiat Chrysler area of the show. Strap in because the ride will get bumpy. Stayed a lot of virtual reality, you got the headsets there, you were doing this thing here. Talk to, what was that thing over there? Yeah, how was that? Um, that was fun. I guess like you kind of like lean to dictate which way you're going and then you can collect health or money or time or which one and then I don't really know what it gives you at the end but yeah like was it like <laughs> I'm a, a race penny pinching or? pro that's what, that's it, what it told me so we spotted a moose in the Volvo display yes a moose it was there to demonstrate that the self-driving Volvo S90 can detect and avoid large animals on the road you still have a few more days to make your way down to Kobo for the auto show it all wraps up on Sunday January 22nd Make sure to get your hand stamped for free admission to the Winter Blast at Campus Marshes Park. Reporting from the North American International Auto Show, 
I'm Jason Resindo for AmericaJR.com.